Hey y'all, this is Mame from Mame's Legacy. And uh, this one's a little different today. This one is geared mostly towards women. So gentlemen, you are excused unless you just want it to stick around. Um, but most definitely women of faith. Um, as preppers, I think I can safely say we're all exhausted. 2020 has put us on high alert and gotten us all into high gear. And you can't run in high gear nonstop without taking a rest. So when you are just beyond exhausted and looking at your preps and, and you know, asking yourself, you know, they said in March this was going to, you know, just be for a short term and it's just going on and on and on and on. Why am I even bothering? Why do I do this? Because it just keeps getting worse. There's, I can never be prepared enough. And when you get to that point, which I'm sure we have all gotten to or, or close in, close to it or we can at least see it from where we are. I want you to remember Proverbs 31. Verses 10 through 24, no, nope, 10 through 31, sorry. This is a New Living Translation, my purse Bible. Um, who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She's more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool and flax and busily spins it. She's like a merchant ship bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect a field and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She's energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes her dealings, I'm sorry, makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fiber. She extends a helping hand to the poor and openly, I'm sorry, opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. She makes her own bedspreads. She dresses in fine linen and purple gowns. Her husband's well known at the city gates where he sits with the other civic leaders. She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. She's clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instruction with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household and suffers nothing from laziness. Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Regard her for all she has done. Let her deeds publicly declare her praise. For me, in my life, that has always been a job description. Well, I say always, obviously not always. As we get older, we get wiser and stronger in our faith and our desire to live it. Um, so when we, when we look at our preps and all we've done and all that's left to do, um, remember that what you're doing is right. You're doing the right thing. You're caring for your family. You're trying to care for your neighbors, I assume. You know, we all talk about barter. We all talk about what do we do when a family member shows up who has not prepped? You know, we, we prepare for more than just those under our roof. Um, and it's the right thing to do. You're on the right track. No, it's not easy. No, it's not quick. Goodness knows it's not cheap. 
but it's the right thing to do. You know, if you're a woman of faith, it matters to you that God sees what you do and he sees that you're working and that you're trying and that you're preparing and you're doing the things that you've been asked to do in his word. So when your husband grumbles because you bought, you know, six more cans of tuna or your children roll their eyes because you've got, you know, canned goods stuck under their beds. Let them. Because what you're doing is right. And we all know that attitudes change. You know, we get frustrated with our husbands because they bought another knife or another this gadget or that gadget or whatever it is. We need to cut ourselves and our families some slack and know that you know, everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Husbands are supposed to take care of their families, so, you know, they're doing that in their way. Kids are supposed to grumble and be difficult sometimes, <laughs> and they're doing that in their way. Um, but don't let it get you down. Don't get beaten up. And for those of you older women, there's another word of Scripture that too often we forget and we overlook. As I have gotten older, um, being a Titus II older woman has really become important to me. Um, as a younger woman, I was not really um, terribly open to Titus II older women. Um, because, you know, when we're young, we're strong-headed and we know it all. But, older women, um, Paul is talking to Titus about right teaching and promoting it. And how everybody has a job to do. Everybody has a lesson to teach and a lesson to learn. And in Titus 2, verse 4, he says... Oops, I'm sorry, verse 3. He says, Simil similarly, teach the older women to live, away, live in a way that honors God. They must not slander others or be heavy drinkers. Instead, they should teach others what is good. These older women must train the younger women to love their husbands and their children, to live wisely and be pure, to work in their homes, to do good and to be submissive to their husbands. Then they will not bring shame on the Word of God. So, my videos, while they are not necessarily, oh, my glasses are crooked, are not necessarily aimed towards younger women. They're aimed towards less experienced preppers, less uh, preppers who, who want to learn or develop or improve the skills that I have. Um, because for all of us, knowledge is power. And knowledge brings wisdom, brings peace of spirit, um, comfort, and it allows all of us to laugh at the future. So, that's the, thus endeth the lesson, to quote Sean Connery in The Untouchables. Um, y'all be safe, y'all be at peace, y'all be well rested, um, be calm, you know, good man upstairs, dad's always willing to listen, always willing to help, always willing to give us the pat on the back that we need. Today is the 16th day of the 12th level of Jumanji. The world has lost its mind. Um, and I don't see it 
regaining it anytime soon. So don't you lose yours. Don't lose heart. Don't lose faith. Don't be discouraged. Because every step in the right direction is a step in the right direction. I will see you all next time. May melt.